everyone, it's Desiree, and I am here with another design team project for Scrapping for Less. Today's feature is going to be Avery L, and this beautiful stamp set is called Floral Bouquet. I'm going to be using three Distress Oxides, and I'm going to be doing my work on a piece of Bristol paper. Now, this is measuring um, six by four and a half, because I just take a sheet and I cut it in quarters. So I'm taking the large floral stamp and I'm using my Versamark ink and I'm going to stamp that down in each of the corners, the bottom left and the top right. I'm actually trying some Nouveau uh, black embossing powder, their fine detail, really for the first time. And I have to say, I kind of like it. After that was heat set uh, with my heat gun, I'm going to put the sentiment right in the center. And the sentiment I chose is have a wonderful day. And again, I'm going to use my Nouveau Black embossing powder and I'm going to heat set that once again. I chose a Bristol paper. You could also do this on watercolor paper, um, but I chose Bristol. I with the technique that I'm coming up with, I find that it holds water and there's going to be a lot of it. So I grabbed my finger daubers and I'm just literally sponging these colors on in dots. I'm using aged mahogany, warm lipstick, and tattered rose. And now I'm just going in with some of the worn lipstick in some areas. And if you notice, I put the aged mahogany in the centers of the flowers. So this is looking absolutely ridiculous. Um, it looks like it's got the measles going on here, but trust me, this actually comes out pretty cool. Um, I have to say, I think this is one of my all time favorite cards. So it's kind of funny the way that it's just coming together here. So now I'm coming in with the tattered rose and I'm just putting that around the bouquet and up around the two corners. But you can see I'm leaving some white areas. I'm going to come in with my distress sprayer and just go to town. I am just spraying this. I am soaking this card with the water. I'm going to tilt it. I'm going to turn it just to get those colors moving. Now, what's cool about this is since I embossed, I have those raised edges. So the dark color really doesn't come out too much. It kind of stays within the petals. I'm extremely impatient, so I must use my heat gun and I use my Ranger heat gun. It, it produces, it's just a different type of heat that comes out because of all the embossing and I just dried it with that. And I just think this is, it's really different looking. You have the chalk effect from the distress oxides. They blended, you've got the puddles and everything else. So very simple. You can see that this card took nothing, no time at all practically to make. I did not want to die cut the panel. I was going to, I chose against that. So I grabbed a piece of black cardstock out of my stash and I cut that down and this measures approximately um, six and a quarter by four and a half. I'm going to use some double sided foam tape and I'm going to prop this panel right up onto the black cardstock. What I also have are some Strathmore watercolor card bases. This is actually a five by seven card base. I like the texture of it, even though I didn't watercolor on it, but it's a very strong card base. And again, it's just got a lot of texture to it. So I'm going to hear this panel right on top of that. I just did not have the heart to cut into it. And I'm just going, I used my Nouveau liquid adhesive to adhere that panel down onto this base. I'm then going to grab my, I first grabbed the Morning Dew Nouveau Drops. And I was going to use these because I knew that they would react with the ink 
I changed my mind. You guys know I always change my mind. If you notice, I had a green card base in the beginning. Yep, didn't use that. So I pulled out my black ones, my black Nouveau drops, and I'm going to fill in these little tiny sprigs that are coming out from the floral bouquet, and I'm going to fill them in with my black drops. And then once I have those done, I'm also going to accent around the sentiment as well, just to put a few in the background to carry that through the card. But I wanted to use the black. I changed to that because I did have a black mat going on this panel. So you can see I'm just putting a couple more in place just to give it that accent. And that's pretty much our card. I lightly tap it just to even out the drops. And here are some close-ups of the project that we created today. I hope you enjoyed this card. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you hit that button below so that you can stay up to date with all the future videos that come out. If you have any questions or comments, I really do encourage you to leave those down below as well. I will get back to you as soon as I can. The stamp set that I used for this video will also be linked down in the description. I hope you give this technique a try. And just remember, you can also try this out with your Distress inks or any other water reactive ink that you may have in your stash. Make sure you check out Scrapping for Less and all of their wonderful products that they have available online for all of your paper crafting needs. And most of all, everyone, always remember, be creative.